And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, October the 31st, 2021. Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, the day in which the dead are traditionally believed to walk among the living. Salem, Massachusetts has a festival of the dead, goes on for a month. There's a psychic fair, a witchcraft expo every day, and psychic mediums who deliver messages from departed loved ones. It's the birthday of Natalie Barney, an American writer born Dayton, Ohio, 1876. She was the granddaughter of a wealthy rail car manufacturer, and she learned French from a governess who read Jules Verne aloud to her so that she would have to pick up the language to follow the story. Her father died when she was in her 20s. He left her an extravagant inheritance that she used to moved to Paris, where she was famous for holding Friday salons at her home in the Latin Quarter, at which writers and artists would gather, including F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gertrude Stein, Ezra Pound, T.S. Eliot. Barney lived openly as a lesbian, Paris being a safe harbor for people, and she became known for her scorn for monogamy and her many love affairs. Barney published five volumes of poetry, three memoirs, two books of essays, one novel, and three volumes of epigrams, including Most Virtue is a Demand for Greater Seduction and how many inner resources one needs to tolerate a life of leisure without fatigue. And fatalism is the lazy man's way of accepting the inevitable. And also, my queerness is not a vice, is not deliberate, and harms no one. Here's a poem for today by Jim Harrison, Invasive. Coming out of anesthesia, I believed I had awakened in the wrong body. And when I returned to my snazzy hotel room and looked at Architectural Digest, I no longer recognized large parts of the world. There was a cabin for sale for seven million dollars, while mine had cost only forty grand with forty acres. An android from drugs, I understood finally that life works to no one's advantage. From dawn until midnight, I put together a jigsaw puzzle made of ten million pieces of white confetti. On television, I watched the overburdened world of books and movies, all flickering trash, while outside, cars pass through deep puddles on the street, the swish and swash of life, patterns of rain drizzle on the windows, finch yodel and Mexican raven squawk, until I enter the murder of sleep and fresh demons, one of whom sings in basso profundo, Mickey and Sylvia's Love is strange. In the bathroom mirror, it's someone else. Invasive, a poem by Jim Harrison. From Jim Harrison Complete Poems, published by Copper Canyon Press, and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 